In this tutorial from class today, we are going to use the image adjustment, black and white, transform, warp, and the clone stamp tool. I'm going to actually create one of the images in the triptych that I created in class today to illustrate these um, examples. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I am going to choose my background or my open document and I would like to paint it or color it black in the background and remember today we learned that we can instead of using the paint bucket tool which is hidden under the gradient tool to drop in the color all we have to do with the foreground color selected hit option delete and that will fill any selection or open background so now that's done and now I'm going to choose this black and white sepia filtered image I'm going to just roughly cut her out with the lasso tool and then I'm going to move her to my new document and transform her up a little ways. Remember if you use the transform controls they have to be checked on in the move tool control panel up here show transform controls. So that's been done. So now I would like to actually take her from a sepia tone black and white to a regular black and white that is just simply shades of black white and gray. So I'm going to go to with her layer checked I'm going to go to image adjustments and black and white which is right there and it automatically show, puts her into shades of black white and gray and you can actually adjust using these sliders to give yourself some more flexibility and you can come up with some pretty amazing looking almost studio quality black and white so there I have her that was image adjustments black and white the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this man's fabulous pink turban and I'm going to extract it using the pen tool that we learned how to use today. I'm not going to do a pen tool tutorial in this particular tutorial but I will quickly select that using the pen and remember the beauty of the pen tool is that you can roughly go around an object and then you can clean up your selection to perfection using the direct selection tool which is the open arrow tool below the um, text tool right there there's two there's an open arrow and a closed arrow the closed arrow is for um, path selection and the open arrow actually chooses directly each point and you can manipulate areas of this independently of each other now I could take the next 10 minutes and actually create an amazing selection here that has every edge is covered and it goes into every curve but I don't really have time in my 10 minute YouTube tutorial so I'm going to quickly just show let's pretend that that's a gorgeous selection which it isn't and I'm going to feather this by about two pixels and that's done now I'm going to say okay and I'm going to move this on top of my girl's head and you'll notice that his image is taken straight on the camera is straight on his face here and this image she is cheating three quarters so now I need to actually warp or transform this turban so it looked like it was fitting on her remember anytime you do a transformation you need to click one of the handles bringing up the solid line and in this case we're going to right click and if, if we haven't gone over it before, right-clicking on an Apple mouse is as simple as going to the system preferences and setting up your mouse to have a secondary click on the right. So I'm going to right-click and choose Warp. This brings up this gridded box that I can start to manipulate this and actually give it some three-quarter-ness. I can stretch it out here and shrink it in here giving it three-quarter view so I'm actually manipulating the entire thing and although we're doing quadrants here it does affect the areas that you um, if you're working in this quadrant it will affect over here but if you're working in this area don't try to manipulate it from this side okay and once that transformation is done you can set the transformation now notice we have some problems where the 
turban cut out around his ear. It looks bizarre here. And also right here where I can't warp it in to fit her head. So I'm going to use a tool called the Clone Stamp Tool for this. And we'll zero right in. The Clone Stamp Tool is right here. It's under the Brush Tool. It looks like a rubber stamp. And it is essentially a brush tool in that it works just like a brush. So if you choose, I'm going to choose like a 100 pixel soft edge brush. And if you hold down the Option key, it brings up a target. And the target is actually the area that you would like to copy and then paste into the area where it needs to be cloned. So I'm going to target near where I'd like to clone, click. Now you'll see I'm bringing that down here. So I'm actually using that area and painting it into place down here. And it's fairly convincing. And I'm going to go over here and do the same thing along this area. But I'm going to choose from over here. Because although it seems like I could just choose up here, if I choose the area up here where the light is hitting it, it's going to look very strange down here in the shadowed area. So I'm going to choose close to where I'd like to clone and just drag that color in to here. And if you get too much in there, don't worry because we can just backtrack slightly and erase it out of there. So now I'm going to choose my eraser and maybe 50% hardness, nice large eraser. I'm going to softly remove some of that so it sits right up against her like so. And I can actually go in there, warp this ever so slightly more, so it really sits against her head. And there we have her turban. Now also, now when this is done, I can go ahead and feather this selection slightly. So I'm going to select Modify, Feather, maybe 5 pixels is fine, Inverse, Delete, 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 and there we have it. So we've used the Transform Controls, Warp, to create a turban that fits on her head. We've changed her into black and white using the image adjustments black and white dialog box and I've filled in areas with the clone stamp tool. I hope that helps.